In this tutorial, we cover how to use PureMessage. PureMessage is an email filtering system that identifies and marks email messages with a high probability of being spam. PureMessage is configured by default for your account. There are two ways to manage messages quarantined by PureMessage, releasing marked messages from within Outlook and managing marked messages from within PureMessage. To release messages within Outlook, open the message from postmaster at wpi.edu with the subject quarantine spam messages since and a date. To release all the emails in the message, click reply and then send. To release some, but not all, of the emails listed in the message, click reply, then delete the lines that correspond to the emails you do not wish to have released. To release an individual message, click the ID number that corresponds to the message you want released, then click send on the auto-created email. To manage messages from the Peer Message site, click the link labeled Manage Your Quarantine Configuration or go to wpi.edu slash plus spam filter. Use your WPI email address and Windows password to log in. Once you log in, you will see a list of the messages that Peer Message has quarantined. If you find an email on this list that is not spam, click the checkbox next to the email and click Deliver Message. If you believe that you may get similar emails and trust the sender, you can click Deliver and Approve Sender instead. This will add the sender's email address to your approved senders list. Pure Message will not quarantine any emails that come from senders on your approved senders list. If you have individual emails in this list that you know are spam, check the boxes next to them and click Delete Message. If all of the emails in the list are spam, click Delete All instead. If you delete an email by accident, go to the Deleted Messages tab, found on the left of the window, check the box next to the legitimate email, and click Undelete Message. This will put the message back into the blocked messages list. To see who is on your approved senders list, click the Approved Senders tab. A list of approved senders should appear. To add an email address to this list, click the Add Sender button on the top right of the list. Keep in mind that if there are no email addresses in your approved senders list, clicking on the Approved Senders tab will bring you directly to this screen. To add a sender to the list, type their email address into the box marked Add Address and click Add Sender. To remove a sender from the list, check the box next to their email address and select Delete Sender. To see who is on your blocked senders list, click the Blocked Senders tab. A list of blocked senders should appear. To add an email address to this list, click the Add Sender button on the top right of the list. Keep in mind that if there are no email addresses in your blocked senders list, clicking on the Blocked Senders tab will bring you directly to this screen. To add a sender to the list, simply type their email address into the box marked Add Address and click Add Sender. To remove a sender from the list, check the box next to their email address and select Delete Sender. To adjust your settings, click the Options tab. To disable Peer Messages services for your account, mark the checkbox next to Disable All Spam and Offensive Content Blocking for My Messages. To continue to receive daily emails with a list of all quarantined emails, keep the checkbox next to Notify Me Periodically of Messages that have been blocked selected. Peer Message will delete any intercepted emails it receives 28 days after receiving them. If you are unable to check Peer Message for more than that duration of time, you can put in a month, day, and year under Hold Blocked Messages 28 Days After. This will stop Peer Message from deleting any received messages, regardless of the date of reception, until 28 days after the specified date. You can also change the language that your Peer Message interface uses by clicking on the drop down box under Language Preference. Make sure to click the Save button at the bottom of the Options page to save your settings changes. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.